Hi, welcome to the analysis video of the third slot of CAT 2020. After the first two slots today, the third slot did not have anything different in terms of the pattern and in terms of the level of difficulty, it was very similar to the first slot. In this video, we are going to be seeing the level of difficulty of each individual section as well as the expected marks required for particular percentile levels and the good number of attempts that you should have done to get a good percentile. So let's jump into it. First, we'll talk about the pattern of the paper. So overall, the number of questions was 76. The number of sections were three as it has been the last few years. The total duration of the exam was 120 minutes with each section being 40 minutes long. The marks per question were three for any correct answer. And there was a negative marking of one mark for incorrect answers in MCQ questions. Theta questions did not have any negative marking. In terms of the overview of the examination, the verbal ability and reading comprehension section was of medium to difficult level in terms of its level of difficulty. It had a total of 26 questions out of which 21 questions were of MCQ type and 5 questions were of theta type which stands for type in the answer. DILR had a total of 24 questions, 18 of which were MCQs and 6 were theta. DILR like has been the case in the last few years in CAT was the make or break section which was felt to be difficult this year. Quantitative aptitude had a total of 26 questions out of which 18 were MCQs and 8 were of theta type. The quants section this year in this particular slot was the easier of the three sections and the overall level of difficulty was of medium level. Totally we had a total of 76 questions, 57 of which were MCQs, 19 were theta and the overall level of difficulty was medium to difficult. Now, if we try to estimate the percentiles and the marks, you can see on your screens that overall we feel that the 99 percentile level will be for a total of around 104 marks. If we go above to get a 99.5 percentile, a score of 114 should get you that particular percentile. 94 will fetch 97 percentile, a score of 88 will fetch 95 percentile, a score of 75 will fetch 90 and a score of 66 will fetch 85 percentile. Now if we see individual sections, as you can see, verbal ability was on the more difficult side. So if you compare with your SimCats, the marks for each percentile will be slightly lesser than what has been. However, we've received a lot of feedback that SimCats were of very similar, a few of the SimCats were of very similar level of difficulty as the CAT was today. So we feel that the 99 percentile for the verbal, verbal ability section should be around 41 marks. The 99.5 percentile should be around 45 marks. If we go below, the 97 percentile should be around 37 marks. 95 percentile should be around 35 marks. The 90 percentile should be 30 and the 85 percentile should be 27 marks. If you see the scores for various percentile levels for DILR, keeping in sync with one of the sets that was there, if you see, it's almost in an arithmetic progression in multiples of three that we are predicting the score values for various percentile types over here. So let's go bottom to top, 85 percentile we feel should be around 18 marks, 90 percentile should be around 21, 95 percentile 24 marks. So if you've done two sets and done all the questions correctly, you should be somewhere around the 95 percentile range. That was the level of difficulty of the DILR section today. The 97 percentile is around 27 marks, two and a half sets or one big and one small set, a total of 10 correct questions, 30 marks, 
will get you a 99 percentile and a 99.5 percentile should be somewhere around 35 marks. If we talk about quants and if I go from top to bottom now the 99.5 percentile should be around 48 marks. So basically an equivalent of 16 correct questions should most probably fetch you the 99.5 percentile mark. The 99 percentile according to us is going to be around 43 marks. 97 percentile is going to be 39. A score of 37 is going to fetch you 95 percentile. A score of 33 and 30 will fetch you the 90 and the 85 percentile marks respectively. So, around 11 questions attempted correctly should get you the 85 percentile and around 16 questions should get you the 99.5 percentile in quants. Quants being the easier of the three sections was the one where you needed to score heavily. Let's now move ahead and talk about the overall verdict. So, CAT 2020 slot 3, we feel the overall level of difficulty was medium to difficult and a good overall attempt should be in the range of 42 to 44 questions if you are aiming for a 99 odd percentile. As I said, plenty of similarity between the SimCats and the CAT this year. Let's talk about individual sections now. So, reading comprehensions. The difficulty level of the reading comprehensions this year was from medium to difficult level. So, the passages were slightly more difficult as compared to yesteryear CATs. Amongst the passages, so there were four in total. Two passages had five questions each and two passages had four questions each. So, amongst the passages, a couple of passages were of medium to difficult level and a couple were easy to medium. Let's just go through them. So, the first passage was on travelogues. It had a total of five questions. All the questions were MCQs and the difficulty level was medium to difficult. The second passage was on economic crisis. It had a total of four questions, all MCQs. The difficulty level was easy to medium. The third passage was on the views on human nature. It had a total of five questions. All of them were MCQs again. And this was again amongst the more difficult passages. So we've classified it to be medium to difficult. And the fourth passage on screen time and class had a total of four questions, MCQs again. And it was amongst the easier passages, so we've classified it to be easy to medium. If we move to the verbal ability part of VARC, we felt that it was of medium difficulty level, slightly easier as compared to the RCs. There were a total of three different question types as had been expected. So the question types were para jumbles, out of context sentence and summary. So no new question types, no grammar or vocabulary questions this year. There were three para jumble questions, all of them were theta and they were of medium to difficult level. If you are good at para jumbles, you would have found one or two questions to be on the easier side. The out of context questions were two in number, again theta questions, so no negative marking. They were five sentences as compared to the para jumbles, which are four sentences. The overall difficulty of these out of context sentence questions was again medium to difficult level. There were three questions on para summary, all MCQs, so negative marking over here. The level of difficulty we felt was easy to medium for these set of questions. We feel that a good overall attempt should be around 15 to 17 questions with high accuracy. Let's move ahead to the very much talked about DILR section. So DILR section was, as I said, medium to difficult in terms of its difficulty level. Let's jump into the five sets which came in today. So the first set was a DI set on Venn diagrams around four facilities in a school. It had a total of four questions. It was amongst the easier two sets. So this was a kind of a must attempt set. It had a level of difficulty of easy to medium. There were two theta questions in this set and two MCQs. The second set which we have listed again a DI set around an organization delivering groceries. It had a total of four questions. This was 
much more difficult as compared to the other two four question sets in the examination. So we've classified it to be of medium to difficult level in terms of its LOD. It had all four questions to be MCQs. The next two sets we've listed are the six question sets. So the first amongst them was a game of six rounds. The level of difficulty was medium to difficult. This was a more difficult set. A student very good, more adept at DILR is only recommended to get into this set. The others are recommended to first do the easier sets and then come to this particular set. Out of the six questions in this set, there were four TETA questions and two MCQs. The fourth set was a set on farmer and four daughters. It had a total of six questions. Again, amongst the difficult sets in the exam, so we've classified the level of difficulty to be medium to difficult. It had a total of six MCQ questions. The last set was the set on patients undergoing blood tests. This was the more easier set in these five sets. It had a total of four questions and all of them were MCQs. If you are aiming for a 99 plus percentile, a good overall attempt should be somewhere around 11 to 13 questions with a very high accuracy. The quant section as discussed in the previous slide was of medium difficulty level. So it was the easier section amongst the three sections. Hence, you were supposed to get more marks over here if you wanted to boost your overall percentile levels. Let's see how the breakup of questions was in the quant section. So as has been the case in the last few years as well as in the other slots of the exam this year, arithmetic was the dominant area in quants with a total of 10 questions and the best part was that these questions were easy to medium in terms of their difficulty level. So this was the area where you had to capitalize and get maximum marks out of. Apart from arithmetic, numbers was of medium difficulty level. There were around three questions in numbers. Algebra was medium to difficult in terms of difficulty level. There are a total of four questions and the questions split across multiple topics of algebra. So it was very well covered. Geometry was only four questions and the difficulty level was medium. There were a couple of very easy questions and then there were a couple of difficult questions as well in geometry. Modern math, which includes not just PNC and set theory, but also functions had a total of five questions. So there were a few questions on functions and the difficulty level over here was of medium difficulty. Over here in quants, we feel that an attempt rate of 16 to 18 with a very high accuracy should fetch you a 98 plus or even a 99 plus percentile. So thank you so much. That is from us when it comes to the analysis of the slot 3 of CAT 2020. We hope you had a great time preparing with us and giving the examination and we hope you come out with great results. Take some rest and then start preparing for your other exams with us. Good luck and thank you.